What's up guys, it's Jerry from JDZ, and today we have a recap of the trades that I made from Zach, uh, Zach from JDZ. So he came over, we didn't do a video, but um, uh, we hung out, we made some pretty good deals. I got a big haul, I'm very happy, we only we only hung out for like, well we only traded for like 25 minutes, and then we got all these 1, 2, I think 3, 4, 4 deals? I can't tell, I, I kind of forget the deals, I should have written them down, um, but uh, um, so, uh, yeah, let me just show you the cards that I got. Uh, so the first trade, I traded him a Noah Syndergaard rookie card. It's 2015 tops and a random pick in my sleeved cards binder, uh, sleeved cards bin. And I, he pulled a Yoan Moncada rookie card, which is one of the better cards in that box. So, um, that actually came out in his favor a little bit, but I think the cards that I got are really sweet. Um, cool addition to my PC. So the two cards that I got were a Fernando Tatis Jr. first Bowman, uh, Bowman Chrome and a Vlad Guerrero Jr. first Bowman Chrome. So these guys are both solid players, uh, <laughs> solid, great players, um, great young players with a very high potential. Um, uh, very happy about um, this deal. I think uh, Bowman, the Bowman Chrome is a really nice, uh, really nice product, um, and they're gonna be coming out, um, coming out with Bowman Chrome, but. Um, soon actually but like the the bowman chrome inserts uh, are really nice i think in the in just the 2019 bowman base set kind of um but i think really nice cards very happy with them uh both of those guys are very good and i think their that value of the card could get pretty high i think you know i don't know it could get maybe 10 bucks if they become stars i don't know but i, I don't really know the value of these like I, i'm not i'm really uneducated when it comes to bowman um, but, you know, these could be really cool cards, and even if they don't, um, there's still some nice cool cards for my, uh, my pretty small Bowman PC. So, that was, uh, probably the smallest deal we made. Um, then we have this deal, uh, very happy about this one. Um, I think I got a deal, and it's a really cool card. Um, I actually traded for a bunch of Yankees cards, uh, or two to be exact, but, uh, more than I really, I, I usually try and stay away from Yankees cards, but I thought these ones were just really sweet and had to pick them up. Um, so, got this card. I traded a Mark McGuire Rookie Sluggers card um, from like 90, 89, I don't know, but it, it was his Rookie Sluggers. It was Mark McGuire and Matt Noakes. So, uh, let me just show you the card I got. Um, this is my first one of these, uh, this card. Um, never gotten this card in the base version or in this insert numbered version. Um, but, uh, let me just show you. So we got this really sweet John Carlos Stanton black parallel numbered out of, oops, 67, 47 out of 67. Really, really sweet card. Um, really, really like this. Uh, I did, I haven't looked it up yet, but I assume it'll go for seven or eight bucks, maybe more. Um, really, really awesome card. Of a very, very good player on the Yankees. So, uh, John Carlos Stanton, I think I got a pretty good deal on this one. Um, Really like the black border cards. I think they look really, really cool. Um, so, uh, yeah, that was uh, one of my favorite deals. Uh, really like that John Carlos Stanton. Um, then we have this one, which I thought was a uh, probably maybe my biggest value of the day. Um, uh, one card just I thought was so cool I had to trade for. And another kind of, kind of for my, I'm thinking of kind of creating a relic PC of relics of players who are, um, who are, uh, um, relics of players who are, uh, just superstars in every way. Like, I have a Yelich one, I have a Betts one, I have a Colin Kaepernick one. Um, I just think it would be cool to get the best of every sport, kind of, even, like, golf. I think I, if I was able to find a Tiger Woods relic, that would be super cool, and i just have a little, like, PC of that stuff. Even though Colin Kaepernick wasn't the greatest player, I think Colin Kaepernick was a great person, and I really admire him, so... Um, so, uh, yeah, this, I think this, uh, this relic, um, adds to my, uh, little PC of that, and we also got another really, really sweet, um, Bowman card, uh, this is my lowest numbered Bowman card, uh, really, really cool, love this card a lot, um, so not a book of the greatest player, but a really cool Ryan McKenna, numbered out of 50, the gold parallel, um, I think gold parallels look absolutely sweet, and it's the Bowman chrome version, which makes it even better, I wish it was autographed, that would have been awesome, but, you know, this card goes for 7 or 8 bucks on eBay. Um, I don't really know who Ryan McKenna is. It says he is the number 13 Orioles prospect, and the Orioles have a pretty good system, so I would say he might be maybe, I don't know, I, he's probably not in the top 100, but maybe he's in the top 200, but 
just a pretty cool card, a number to the 50. Um, really thought I would pick it up, just I love the color. Um, so, uh, I think, yeah, I, I did give uh, Z uh, Zach the uh, Joe Gallo rookie card, um, which I kind of liked, but I thought it was worth it for giving up for that card and this card. Um, really, really surprised that Zach even had this card. He said he got it in a Fairfield box. Um, but a really, really sick card. Um, got the Derek Jeter relic card. Really tiny piece. It, you think it's I think it's like a reprint card. Um, it says it says like future stars, but it's a reprint. It's actually from 2017 tops. Um, really awesome card. Uh, has a pretty sp like a very small piece of the jersey right on the card. It's not even. It's like you think it's just like a normal card with a little tiny hole in it. It's but it's really cool. Um, it's it's a uh, game used memorabilia with the pinstripe, which I think is absolutely awesome. Derek Jeter was one of the greatest players, uh, greatest shortstops of all time. Um, so I thought I, I, I had to get that, um, even though I'm not a huge fan of how much he dismantled the uh, Marlins. And instead of having them with a young core of Marcelo Zuna, Christian Yelich, and John Carlos Stanton, he has a young core of uh, Brian Anderson. And no nothing really in return for uh, Yelich and uh, Ozuna and uh, Stanton. Um, so uh, not a fan of him in that way, but I think it's just a cool collection addition to my, uh, you know, best in there, uh, kind of be best baseball players, best football players, best every sports player in that kind of relic PC. Then the biggest trade that I made today, uh, as soon as Zach pulled this card, he texted me. I was immediately very interested. This guy, I think, was a top 50 prospect at one time. Um, he's now a rookie. Um, this is my first 2019 Topps Chrome Auto. Um, really, really love this card. I gave up my T Fernando Tatis Jr. first Bowman, which was hard to give up. Uh, I bought it for 475 probably goes for around 6 or 7 now. But I think it was worth it for this sweet auto that I didn't even know was numbered. It is numbered at a 499 So I guess it's the Refractor Auto. Most autos from 2019 Chrome, the rookie autos, are usually not numbered. So this is a pretty sweet auto. He got this from a blaster. Um, got a DJ Stewart, uh, Topps Chrome Rookie Auto right here. So really sweet auto on card. It is numbered at a four ninety nine, um, which is really nice. Uh, really, really like this card a lot. This guy, I think he has the potential to be someone great. Uh, so I was very happy to trade this card. And you know, even like Fernando Tatis Jr., his first Bowman, it, it's not going to get mu that much more expensive. Like the, I might lose five bucks on it, but. You know, if I really miss on the DJ Stewart, um, the ta and the Tatis goes if he becomes like a superstar, like Mookie Betts' his first Bowman goes for like five bucks, maybe ten. But like, it, it's it's pretty crazy how cheap they actually go. Cause Bowman, you think, oh, I get a first Bowman of Vlad Guerrero. I mean, that's like the most expensive first Bowman I've ever seen, fifteen bucks, and I bought it. And that was not a great decision on my part. But uh, so anyway, we made a big big uh. Big haul of trades today. Got the Derek Jeter relic. Got the DJ Stewart rookie auto numbered at a four ninety nine. Got the Ryan McKenna numbered at a fifty. Got the John Carlos Stanton numbered at a uh, sixty seven. Got the Fernando Tatis Jr. twenty nineteen Bowman Chrome and got the Vlad Guerrero Jr. twenty nineteen Bowman Chrome. So thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you later. Bye.